All right, so this is a uh, draft mode run. Mm, actually doing way better than I've ever uh, expected on uh, this character. So draft mode, you pick from a selection of four weapons, one at a time. And so you're, you're not controlling the layout exactly. You've got to pick uh, each time which you, which you want. And so you're playing with a different board uh, layout, which is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, forces you to really uh, strategize. For this layout, um, I am really not great at all with this <laughs> this character because you can see their difficulty is that at nighttime, uh, enemies do <laughs> double damage, which is terrifying, right? Because if you're ever at two health, on anything you might you know just get killed so gotta be real careful so about this layout i went for an alternating red blue the classic tessellation because that just makes it easy to you know move one step and get to where i need to be um and i also chose uh this oracle oracular oxbone because it tells you when you kill an enemy with it it tells you uh, where the next enemy spawns, which can be useful if you, you know, don't know. Uh, can be useful if you're expecting, you know, to take a lot of damage <laughs> from a, uh, from the enemy spawning. So, uh, probably could have played that a little better. Doesn't tell you exactly when, just shows you that the next gate will come from there. I've been really, I really built this board though around the repercussion drum. You can see it's the first weapon I built. I uh, leveled up to level four, and there's a couple things here. So uh, this is just a really strong weapon, uh, first of all. Um, I actually considered putting it next to the Cosmic Battery because I could spin from the Repercussion Drum and charge there, and that might have been a better choice. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure at this point, but I ended up uh, not doing that. I ended up instead to... Uh, um, use the cosmic batteries uh, charge ability with the blinding lantern uh, over here. So I think that that could be an improvement, um, but still uh, something something to think about. Also included an agony fuse, which I'm expecting to get overwhelmed by enemies. So when more than one enemy would attack, lose level, stun them all. That's a, a really nice uh, upgrade. It can be a little tricky to activate because you do depend on having multiple enemies hit you so you've got to like intentionally move into a kind of a bad spot um but it's uh it's still very useful and it, it always activates now there i just shot an enemy through the wall because of the x-ray gun uh, which is uh, nice this is a perfect use for it hitting the southeast enemy uh, through a wall so pick the x-ray gun as well as so i'm expecting okay i want to anything i can draft that will let me not have to deal with enemies oh this is gonna be fun so i could spend a charge here i'm gonna actually back up one oh that's probably a mistake yeah well no it's okay oh that was definitely a mistake oh i should that was a mistake uh, i should have charged this one and then hit for two well good game <laughs> so yeah, this is a this is a tough character, uh, tough, <laughs> uh, very tough. Now you can see how draft mode works. So it, it actually tracks the most recent game. So you don't want to just um, spend, you know, willy nilly try stuff, right? Because you don't know what uh, you don't want to just like retry randomly, right? Because that that's not going to work. Now here I took the orb. I think it's fun. I was thinking about Cloak, but I'll take that instead. Uh, dagger's fun. Switchblade's fun, so I'll take it. Um, now here, I like the two in the middle uh, more. Then this one's still pretty good. This one can be good with the right combos. A uh, chance to stun them. can be really nice. I like the scythe. Oh, I'll try that again. So I'm kind of trying a similar layout to what I had. Um, take a skeleton key. 
Another scythe, why not? Trident can get pretty crazy. You know what? I'm going to go... Well... Trident could be fun. Trident almost went uh, extra on that. Oh, telescope. I like this one a lot, so I'll pick that one. You can see I'm organizing them by red and blue, right? Um, I like the Empiric Spear. Don't really like Star Shines Pearls. I know it can be really strong, but you have to spend... Um, I, I think it's the one that takes health uh, to use. Uh, now, this would be nice if I was going for a charge build, but I haven't really been going. I uh, haven't really gotten lots of things I can charge, so that is one risk that you take in, uh, in draft mode is like, when do you... You've got to, if you see a combo early, you've got to go for it. You shouldn't depend on something too much. Still, though, I like the heal. I'm thinking about it. Um, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll take it. Um, and you know, I'll take the altar, too, because that will... Yeah. That'll combo with that. So that actually works out. Mm. Spark plug, more charging. All right, I'm I'm like ooh, could get cosmic battery though. I could put cosmic battery. You know, I'm gonna try cosmic battery with skeleton key in the middle. Yeah, that sounds fun. And last one. Probably gonna pick a blue to even this out. I didn't take a range one, so ink is not any useful. Take one with that. You know what? I'm gonna take a range. Okay, so now for managing layout. So I said I wanted to put these two together, right? And I will put it, I'll put the battery north here. My thinking is maybe I can, um, I can, well, this might work too. Actually, I kind of like this. So a telescope's going to be good for killing the serpent in the southwest. The battery, um, one of my previous videos, I this was a kill spot, this uh, telescope and cosmic battery, for killing the, um, whatever they're called, from the southeast coming in, because uh, I had the tentacle instead, but this should be nice for um for combos, for charging that. Same thing with the skeleton key. So I like that. Uh, let's put that here. Put an escape here now. Do a scythe. Put that up there. There, this is a little. Oh, I've got to pick the range weapon. Yeah, this is a little, a little weak, be because uh, right next to the cube. So I'm thinking about this one. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I forgot. This character, any enemy you spawn in any game. So the usual rules of planning don't really apply. I think it's actually still weighted to be somewhat similar, but it like somewhat matching but not not really so anything's game basically <laughs> at this point so yeah you know what this looks uh, dagger is not my favorite but um yeah we'll try it all right so serpent actually spawned there you can see how i can charge that could have actually used that right away but um, i'll save it so I think the enemies still spawn mostly, or there's a good chance they do, but you can see the Chimera spawn way over there, right? So that's the altar. It cost me two health, right? I moved in, took a damage, and then I charged it for another health. But in terms of 
moves required to kill the enemy, it was not very many. Right, I just had to move in and attack right away, which is nice. I'm level up the spark plug. I think the reason spark plug over telescope is that spark plug gets better and better, faster over time. Telescope, you can pick a different weapon. Oftentimes, it doesn't really make a difference. Although I say that, now I'm realizing that I'm not playing as Ixel anymore, who had, you know, all blue weapons. So, actually, the leveling up the um, telescope will be useful because sometimes, you know, if you hit with a um, hit with a blue and then it combos into a red, that's not that's not great. So, now one thing that's uh, tough about this character, she doesn't have a way to skip a turn, but her ability is a, a nice trade-off for her. enemy spawning random gate is that when there are choices uh, for random effects, if she has a uh, uh, if she has a token, a rune, then she can pick one. So I think that can probably help mitigate uh, telescope somewhat. Alright. So far, not too bad. Now here, you know, it sucks to take extra damage like this, but it's early game. And so even if the serpent spawns like one just did, I know I'm safe because I'm in the corner. Now I could go for the telescope kill, but remember what I just said about, you know, it could attack with a red weapon. It's not safe. So it cost me a blue. So I'm going to not do that. I'll do this instead. I could spin a random effect. So the uh, geomantic orb is really fun. So when it hits an enemy, it actually destroys a random wall, which is just it's a really it's a really fun, powerful effect. And that skeleton charge is already paying off. I'm gonna risk a uh, teleport there. That works. That's where I wanted to go. Get the spark plug activated so I can start getting charges there. We're a little fast there. Switchblade in the corner, you'll see a lot of strategies that have uh, teleport daggers in the corner. It's like a get out. It's like, oh, you don't want to be here. So, um, you know, that's kind of the idea behind Switchblade as well. The problem, of course, is that it's hard to level up and Switchblade gets much better um, it's much better whenever it's uh, level 2 because you'll stun them that way you're getting a hit and not taking any damage it's really nice but anyway this this one's going okay so far you know it is I think gonna be a problem not being able to control not being able to skip a turn to rely on that so often but so this is uh he's going okay and oh check this out get lucky sure so you can see how the geomantic orb can be very useful uh if you get uh, lucky hits and with this character i think especially potential to really Really be useful. Oh, got out the range attack. That's fine. Let's hit him again. Uh, well, it's not really what I wanted, but I had enough blue to uh, recover from it. That's so okay. Could have actually tried to hit hit with the orb there and you know destroy the wall right next to me, but. Not trying to be that rely that much on chance so here i could have killed with a telescope but i went for the southwest because it's harder to it's a rare position to be in and i really want i really want that one to be level up
better charge. Remember, efficiency matters. So I could have could have gone to the uh, the Empire Spear instead, but of course, a random enemy could have spawned out. But. Got no blues left. That's dangerous. That range weapon working out nicely. Charge. I'll hit and got him. Now, we'll see I can actually move north. Because I level up skeleton key. Level one, I can replace a diamond on an enemy. So, really, uh, really nice trick there. Mm, go ahead and kill. Can't teleport. Eh, not the best. That was pro arguably probably bad. Um, oops, I meant to swipe left there. That's fine. Oh, I made a mistake. Forgot that there's no red in the corner. Uh, I'm going to hit him with the stun. That helps. And I'm gonna get lucky. Okay, yeah, that was <laughs> that was dicey. No red in the southwest. Uh, here, I'm actually gonna pop up here and take the hit just to reliably kill serpent without worrying about blue. Oh, um, there's another one. Oh, I should have shot him at range. That's okay. Probably okay. Oh, this looks bad actually. Hmm, so, <laughs> it's going to be a problem. Um, yeah, this might be bad. Well, if I hit the enemy once, Bomb Serpent moves to the altar, then again he's on the plug. And if I move to the dagger, the enemy's on the altar. Yeah, I think this is it. <laughs> I think this is it. Oh wait, I've got an idea. This isn't gonna be enough, is it? <laughs> oh well, I tried. Alright, good game. So 63, not great. Um but yeah, you can see how the telegraph will work. And you have to beat a target. I'm not sure exactly how it calculates it, but uh, now I pick a new character. So yeah, thanks for checking this out. Uh, it's a great game. Check it out.